Okay, so on this video, we're going to be going over JB. Now, a lot of, or rather, some of my uh, Rasheed players were asking for a little bit of gameplay for them. So, you know, I might help them out a little bit. I'm <clears throat> unfortunate the drive rush got interrupted, but with that being said, we keep playing. So, when it comes to neutral, right? Although your buttons aren't the greatest, right? You have an above average drive rush, as well as you have access to standing medium kick, which is good for checking at that mid range level. When it comes to um, the further, slightly further out range, where your medium kicks or your medium kick or your crushing medium kick with, then you generally want to start aiming for your standing heavy punch for those ranges. like i mentioned we're looking for that range where we can throw a standing heavy punch right standing heavy punch so your crouching medium punch is plus so you can follow up your pressure using it so in this specific case he decided to go for head standing heavy punch drive rush into uh crouching medium punch from there he went into standing medium punch which is also plus into standing medium punch again okay and the beautiful thing about structuring your pressure this way is because number one it makes it fairly difficult to press because your opponent knows that you're plus and if you decide to try jab instead of pressing another medium punch and they try to jab then you'll win the exchange right on top of which when you do this it is also a armor break when it comes to di so they can't just mindlessly di in your pressure right unfortunate about the standing heavy kick okay and he got hit and it's finished yeah yeah not gonna lie luke luke will do that to you you know what i did notice real quick is the fact that you guys are not subbed to the channel so if you don't mind or if you feel as though you want to support all you need to do is subscribe and then join my streams during lives and uh yeah i will definitely be around Hey, so there, this is fairly nice to do when you're dealing with, um, when you're dealing with this target combo specifically. However, you have to be fairly mindful. Okay. Reason why I say you have to be mindful here is because they can, um, decide to EX this, decide to EX this, then yeah, kind of screwed. I'm not going to lie. Where is my thing? There it is. So it's not the, it, although it is a fairly good option to exude at times, um, the uh, EX um, Sandblaster will burn through this. Okay, we caught him on the whiff. Now, when we're structuring our offense, like a lot of characters, Rashid's offense is structured off of strike throw, right? In order to make sure that it's as strong as it can be, we make it seem as though we're walking forward if you look at his inputs it's walk forward walk back right mastering this might take you some time because you'll find that sometimes you might end up getting thrown before you walk out of the spaces but once you master it it'll definitely help you a lot to open up your opponent because realistically you're not really opening up um your opponents with the overhead all the time but you're opening your opponents up by uh, um punish counters through throw baits right so if you clicked on this video i'm sure you need some help lord knows i did at some point but here's the thing you want your favorite content creators to come and help you but let's be real they're charging like 60 dollars per hour you don't need that but when i got you I got you good. Over on this channel, I do free coaching sessions on Tuesdays and on Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. EST. So what does that look like? I essentially go over your matches. I give you tools so that you can succeed the next time you open up rank. So once again, join my Discord. Wait till I'm live either on Tuesdays or on Thursdays, 6.30 p.m. EST. Be there or be square and yeah i'm not your favorite pro but i'm available those pros are not available so once again join the live get better and i'll help you improve back to the video hey okay, we bounce oh i think he might have dropped this actually yeah he dropped this 
looked okay. He got the pressure afterwards. Now he can just throw. Right? The reason why throw is more expe uh, 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 expected here is because what he's thinking is that, okay, you know what? He threw bait me once. So let me try and deal with that option. I believe he went for backdash here. So he ended up getting slapped in the face with a standing jab. Unfortunately, he wasn't ready to uh, confirm it because he wanted to press jab and to walk back, kind of trying to bait out his throw that way. Because as we all know, if you press jab, then slightly walk forward and you can grab them afterwards. So the idea, the mind game there is press jab and then walk back, kind of um, enticing them to try and press throw. And if they do so, they get punished countered again, right? Notice how we're not, notice how we're not trying to bust out or break out all the time, right? This is fine. See, we can eat a couple of throws, okay? Notice how it wasn't a punish, punish counter throw, okay? We tap it, we do not hold it, okay? Ain't no reason, ain't no reason to sweat yet. Even here, it's, it's, you're not dead yet. You're close, but you're not dead yet. Now, how does he decide to close this out? Oh, <laughs> that is tragic. I'm not gonna lie. He did, he did uh, escape by, by the hair on his head. He did. He did. I'm not gonna say that he didn't. I do notice the fact that, okay, yes, I like this. Now, the reason why I like this is because it is button drive rush jab. I cannot state this enough. Button drive rush jab is so strong, okay? It is so strong. It leaves you plus three, okay? you're right in their face when you're plus three the world's your oyster you can go for your medium punch which is also plus you can decide to do your crouch and medium punch which is plus um you can also decide to go for throw however if you go for throw you're going to be put a little bit further out from them but it does aid you in the uh battle to push them towards the corner okay i want you abusing the fact that you can use either drive rush jab or drive rush crouching light kick Although I would go towards drive rush crutch and light kick when you're doing raw drive rush and then drive rush jab when you are um, pressing a button into drive rush and doing a drive rush cancel. Okay, like I mentioned, you can do throw, but it does leave you a little bit out. And then as you can see, because it's not real, then Noah went for a crouching medium punch, right? Because had he tried to rush in, he would have gotten hit by the crouching medium punch. Okay, fireball game, slowly walking them to the corner, being careful of the buttons time to be pressed. And I think this is something that both of them like to do, is that what they'll do is that they'll whiff something and then try to press parry. Now this is just like um, a sort of parry attempt situation. So what they do is that they'll whiff something and then they acknowledge the fact that they might get hit or punish countered. But in the event that it does not happen and they they meet contact, then you might get the perfect parry, right? Notice how we're not folding on defense. We're just holding it. Now he did take a risk here, okay? Now, although backdash is a very good option, it is a risk because if you are wrong, you will get hit, okay? But with that being said, these players do have a very good understanding of when you can press things and when you can go for things. Wow, that is tragic though. But that also speaks to how strong this move is, right? It not only armor breaks, but it also, um, it's also fairly difficult in regards to perfect parry, right? Although he did go for a crouching heavy punch, which is not the greatest in that option, in that area. Perhaps if he went for jab, it would have been better. This is also why he's not trying to go for too many like charge shots or even um, any of the shots is because he might get sniped, right? The way Luke's fireball works is just too fast to be throwing it out comfortably. And then if you, if you want to force a trade, um you have to do it the right timing and it's just it's not the best when it comes to this matchup okay now that he's burnt out we get the whiff punish level two we have to abuse level two. Ooh, but now he's sandwiched okay although he got the throw and he was successful now he's sandwiched between it yep that's why it makes it particularly nasty to deal with but he does get the level one oh he doesn't even need it 
yeah that's why level two is so strong right and i do feel like a lot of the time we get very close if not um get level two by round one or early um round two and in those cases you do want to spend uh level two because it's such a strong option right not only does it in, it be enhanced wind give you enhanced dashes enhanced jumps it also gives you um eagle spike um not punish punishable right it makes a lot of your offense structure a lot stronger and as a result especially if you have them in the corner you want to go for it right it's also great for closing out rounds because if they're in burnout then they really can't do anything about it let's go on to the next game okay so now that we're on to the next game let's see if no is able to make any adaptations or we're gonna get a little bit stronger okay mm, okay there's a difference between pacing so if you do the light one right the light one is great for checking people it's um it's great for if someone just wants to try and mash out of a situation right it'll catch them slipping now with the heavy one the heavy one leaves you in a uh plus one i believe yeah plus one uh situation where you kind of have to guess here he went for backdash because noah went for throw one well, not subsequently because of that but he was anticipating that the throw might come as a result he went for backdash he was already ready got him to the corner now we're gonna run our offense right like i said strike throw Ooh, okay now this is a little bit this is a little bit more for my diamonds and for my master rashids okay the reason why we do this okay is because uh, as you guys know okay Rashid's anti-airs is not the best in the game. You feel me? So, compared to Luke's um, jumping heavy punch, it would be advised to um, try and walk under the button as opposed to try and anti-air that button. Because we all know Luke's standing, uh, jumping heavy punch is egregious, right? So, instead of trying to deal with it, we walk under it and then get the punish that way. Okay, plus frames, plus frames. Yep. He's going to try and parry. Oh, okay. You got the punish. Okay, he, he does choose backdash a lot. Okay. One ad adaptation that Noah can um, do is that if he's noticing that he's trying to backdash a lot on uh, defense, then we can start trying to press a little bit more buttons, you know, a couple more crouching medium punches just to, you know, check that space like that, especially if he happens to get hit, then um, takes stupid amount of damage. Okay, here we're abusing the fact that we have drive rush jab or rather jab throw. I'm sorry, jab throw level two once again we're stuck in that sandwich situation he's forced to come off meter oh you see okay so there's levels to this okay not only does this function as a throw bait right but it also functions in the case where he decides to try and parry okay if it is an unsuccessful parry your meter your drive gauge uh, rejuvenation or regeneration slows down significantly right it goes to a halt for a little while on top of which he can walk up and throw he didn't go for it which is perfectly fine right because a lot of this situation leaves him in a burnout right okay this is a, if you want to take this burnout combo go ahead i'm not focused about the combos more so about the mentality right yep he has to guess and he has to guess Right. And the reason why that was particularly difficult to manage is because he's been throw baiting him a lot. Right. So then Noah in his head, he was thinking more so, OK, instead of trying to throw or trying to tech, I'm going to just chill as a result, open him up for two uh, throws and then he died for it. So this is all I have for today. Um, we do have a stream coming up tomorrow. Hope to see you there. 630 p.m. EST. Be there, join the Discord, and um, get your free VOD review. Thanks for watching, guys.